right, did a spontaneous day trip to Trier, one of the oldest cities, the oldest city in fact in Germany, and I'm on the uh, Domplatz, which is magnificent because you can see a cathedral from 1035, and then there's another cathedral, and all these other buildings that are all from different eras, and I'm standing in one spot, which is pretty amazing to me. And even here in Trier, I find a choo-choo train. Look at this choo-choo train. Is it again a cathedral from 1035 and a choo-choo train? I love it. I love it. They're all over the place. Everywhere I go, I find a choo-choo train. Right. So walking down from the dome, I uh, came across a marketplace, which I'll show you in a second. But it's, it's like Nicholas Cage and Robert Langdon would give, get a field day here. Like, so I stumbled upon this marketplace walking down from the dome, and it's like this. Like, is this what like people say? Like when people say I'm, I walked into like this fairy tale, it's just like, oh, look at all these like pretty buildings with like gold leaf laden windows, and like, oh, here's another church in another fancy tower, and look at that fountain. I mean, like my friends, I got here with absolutely love it, and I do too, and I'm very very happy that I'm here. Like I don't I don't get the chance to come to Trier when. But wow, like there's, there's a ton to see and I wish we had more than, I think we have another like three hours here. This is not a city that you want to come to for three hours. It's nuts. It is great. And if you're into history or art or both, like plan, plan ahead, plan a week or something. It is again, the oldest city in Germany with buildings from 1035 up until, well, basically now, but like, wow. The preservation of these buildings, amazing. I mean, look at this. Also, that is McDonald's. And on the other side, you have a kebab house next to a gate like this. It's nuts, it's nuts. It's, I'm just telling you, it's nuts. it's nuts. What an amazing assembly of things. There's a cathedral from 1035, Tower from I say 1700s, a choo-choo train, some other baroque structures. Like it's just, I mean, it's a potpourri of things. I love it. Oh, and by the way, I'm standing inside of a 2,000-year-old Roman-like city gate. How cool is that? The former monastery next to us, because like this gate was used as a church at some point and there's another cathedral over there the houses on the hill this is amazing also I, I mean I don't need to tell you twice that I would love to fly a drone through here and like make a 3d model do all kinds of cool things oh man I can't wait <sighs> Right, day's coming to an end here in Trier. I'm in the City Palais. A uh, very fancy, classic building with a tiny little cute garden. And loads of ducks. Here, let me show you. See? Tons of ducks. One of them is coming at me. Hey, Boo. How are you? And then there's the very fancy building with the statue of Constantine over there in the corner. It was really, it was a weird day. It was a spontaneous trip here. No planning, no nothing. We just said, you know what? Like, Trier is like an hour away. Let's just go, old city in Germany. W what could possibly go wrong, you know? Like we expect rain, everything. No, it was a beautiful day. And I was not prepared. I was not prepared for the old buildings. I was not prepared for the cathedral to open. I was not prepared for all the museums, all the Roman statues and like, sorry, uh, structures, like the Porta Negra. I thought it was like a tiny thing, but I didn't know anything about it. And yeah, this is not a city that is just a day trip. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Um, I'll be back, and I'll especially be back with a better camera, because every single time I took a picture, I said to myself, this is like, I can do hours of editing on this. It will not look good. I just need to have like a wide-angle lens, 
something because it's so cramped, like the city, because it's like a medieval town, right? Like it's so, or it used to be a medieval town, it's so crammed, so packed, that you can't really like step into a distance to actually like show the whole building in its entirety. That's killing me. <laughs> because I know that like a lot of people who watch this or other videos of mine, they can't come here. Not only because of COVID, because you know, Trier or Kaiserslautern or uh, Schengen, like all those towns, or even other like tiny medieval towns in Germany, are inaccessible to those who do not have a car. And if you're unable to drive in Germany, it's really hard to get to these places on public transport. It will take either a long time or it costs a lot of money um, because you have to switch a lot and then if you stay somewhere overnight to get like the one like it's not it's not worth it um, so I, if you come please do get a car rent a car find somebody that has a car comment on one of my videos and I drive you there because I like I like living on the road and just like taking people places and showing them around um, yeah this is uh, but it has been a good day and I have one or two more days of this before I have to go back to work, which I'm not thinking about, not thinking about work at all. Jesus Christ, this can be as far away as possible right now. I'm having a blast just being away, being on the road, looking at things, doing things, and yeah, it, it fills me with so much joy. God, I'm so happy. I was happier after those four, day, four hours on the train to get to the place where I'm staying. Then, like after a regular weekend, it is uncanny. So good. And I really couldn't ask for more to be able to share these things. You know, like share these experiences and like show people tiny places. Also, 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 quick side note, it is getting increasingly more safe to be, like, be in Germany. Uh, today, they, uh, top the 60% uh, quota for people being fully vaccinated um, it is good it is very very good like it's 64% have at least one shot 60% of all Germans are fully vaccinated and it makes me feel very hopeful for the future it makes me feel very hopeful for potential Christmas somewhere like, I have to work that day, but like the days after I don't, and maybe I can go uh, to Hamburg, uh, see my mom for Christmas, possibly. Like, it's just like opening up options. It's opening up options better than before. And uh, we, I, I just got the signal where we're going. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post this, I'm gonna post something else over the weekend um, and explain uh, some more of it. So, uh, thank you very much for your time. Bye bye.